Welcome to the UCC's COVID-19 Weekly Bulletin for the week of October 7th, 2020. Now, uh, there's a lot going on this week, so we're just bringing you a high-level summary of some of the most important announcements. Mariana, in terms of the COVID-19 app, can you tell us which provinces are now covered and where people can download this app for their phone? Yeah, so the COVID alert helps us break the cycle of infection. The app can let people know of possible exposures before any symptoms appear. That way we can take care of ourselves and protect our communities. The app is now av available in Manitoba, New Brunswick, Newfoundland and Labrador, Ontario, Quebec and Saskatchewan. Uh, the COVID-19 alert is completely voluntary. Link to it is available in our bulletin. Excellent. Thank you, Mariana. And Otis, I know there's some big changes to employment insurance and some of the new benefit programs. Uh, what can you tell us about that? Yeah, so there have been uh, new changes to the employment insurance program. Uh, now you only need 120 insured hours to qualify. Uh, you will receive at least 500 a week and not 55% of your income as before. And you can receive EI from 14 weeks up to a maximum of 45 weeks, depending on the unemployment rate in your region. So you can read more about the changes and how to apply in our bulletin. Uh, as well, we've got information on three new programs that the uh, government has announced, and that is the Canada Recovery Benefit, the Canada Recovery Sickness Benefit, and the Canada Recovery Caregiving Benefit. Uh, information on all of those is available in our bulletin. Great, thank you. Uh, and uh, we don't have any webinars this week, but next week we'll have a webinar with church volunteers on October 15th. And then we're looking to do a webinar on the 28th of October uh, with small businesses. And again, just a reminder that all our webinars are up on the UCC YouTube channel. Last year, Ms. Naya Moshbudiv Alberti, when they organized the Sikavi Zdanyate, Moshi Stamras Kozate, Patam. Так, ми одержали оголошення від провінційної ради Конгресу в Альберті, що сьогодні ввечері відбудеться перший веб-семінар з питань вишків середньої освіти серії прогресу з питань розвиток навичку. Якщо ви намагаєтесь знайти роботи через пандемію або через канадський диплом середньої школи, або навіть якщо ви хочете змінити кар'єру, зареєструйтесь на цей вебінар. Так само зареєструйтесь, щоб дізнатися про програми після закінчення середньої школи, які базуються на, на вашому існуючому досвіді та навичках, щоб налаштувати вас на усіх на нашому ринку праці. Отже, всі посилання на ці вебінари ви знайдете на нашому тижневі. Thank you, Lassio. Uh, Asia, there's also an interesting online film premiere taking place. Can you tell us more about that? Yes. So because of many restrictions due to the pandemic, the movie theaters are being empty in most of the Canadian provinces. So the next uh, best thing uh, to enjoy movies virtually from the comfort of your own home. Uh, the Canadian Research and Documentation Center presents a digital premiere of a Canadian war story documentary by John Paskevich, a remarkable chronicle uh, of the extraordinary contributions of Ukrainian Canadians to Canada's Second World War. Uh, the movie will premiere on November 6, um, and you can see the trailer of the movie in this COVID update. You can also purchase your ticket right now um, on the link below. Excellent. Thank you, Asio. We are also going to include the uh, video from the Montreal Ukrainian Festival, which took place this last weekend as our Smile of the Week. Again, we thank the Canadian Red Cross and Government of Canada for helping to bring us these uh, COVID-19 uh, announcements, and we hope that you're well. Again, you can take a look on our site at ucc.ca for all the resources that are listed here and from previous weeks, and we hope that you have a happy Thanksgiving. Uh, take care and stay safe.